We are extremely proud to initiate this particular project and launch this initiative with John Hopkins University that focuses specifically on AI technology, healthcare, and other aspects of AI that benefits that it brings to improve the communities that we serve here in the DC area. From improving healthcare access to boosting education and economic empowerment, AI holds tremendous potential. The more we learn, the more all of us learn AI and apply AI, the more empowered we are. If we don't participate in understanding, knowing how we leverage AI for health, for energy, and all of these pieces, we are going to run into and continue to take longer to build a better society and better world. When I give a prompt to ChatGPT or Gemini or Claude or any of the number closed models, I have no idea how it's producing an answer. So I now have to use my judgment as a human being to determine, can I trust what it is giving me? And can I use that information as part of my professional life? But you now have to be able, can I trust an AI? We need to do a better job in our communities with equipping our communities with the tools and the abilities to be able to take care of mom and dad or, or friends and family, whomever. I look at AI as the bridge to really facilitate meaningful dialogue, triage support for mental health and mental wellness and the questions that people have, maybe in the middle of the night that they, you know, they can't see their doctor, they can't get an appointment for another two weeks, but they just need some comfort and they need some support and they need to know, is this normal? Which is the number one question that I get asked. The ability for them to be able to speak from their different diverse backgrounds, to be able to not be afraid to really dig in and talk about either the risk or the promise, the prices you have to pay. Focusing on education and using AI as a bridge, reminding us that we don't have to be afraid of AI, but we can actually use this as a tool to make things better. Well, AI can make healthcare turn into what I like to say, health aware. So to make it proactive, right? Imagine being able to take clinical data, merge it and marry it up with financial data. And then with our, you know, from a health equity digital inclusion perspective, to take in social determinants of healthcare that doesn't really happen today, and to be able to build algorithms on top of that to, to ensure that AI and healthcare is equitable for, for all of us. As part of our local engagement and community engagement efforts across the region, we are very committed to bringing community education and engagement around technology. With AI becoming increasingly ubiquitous and everywhere, we want everybody to be able to take advantage of artificial intelligence and the opportunities it provides. We, in the partnership with Verizon and Hopkins, are going to do this together with you as a community so that we get it right. And even when we don't get it perfect, we know we have all of the parties at the table.